Hi, this is Noel. I'm going to show you how to get up and running with uh, Touch OSC, the app, uh, and how to control a uh, tractor. Uh, you can use the templates from touch-control.com, um, or you'll probably find this quite useful even if you uh, just want to get up and running and do your own stuff with Touch OSC. So, um, if you have downloaded templates, you'll unzip a file and find a, a folder a little bit like this. Inside there's uh, some instruction manuals if you can't be uh, bothered listening to my voice. You'll also find this uh, folder of all your important docs. There's the uh, template layout that goes over to your device. Uh, you can run it on a iPhone or an iPod Touch. Um, and I'm also making some templates for the iPad as well. There's the oscillator file. This takes the, the uh, OSC signals and converts it into MIDI, the tractor, and there's the tractor file, your, your .tsi file, which converts that MIDI into your functions uh, for DJing. So grab this folder, stick it in your uh, documents, um, and it's wise to make a backup of this folder. I'm just gonna hit Command D to duplicate it and stick it inside there. Just in case anything goes wrong, you'll thank me for it later. Um, anyway, first of all, you're going to need a couple of bits of software. If you haven't downloaded these already, you want the Touch OSC editor from hexclub.net. Uh, you can download that oh, halfway down the page here. I'm downloading the Mac version because um, my templates only run on Mac. You're also going to need to visit oscillator.net um, and download the oscillator uh, as well. It's free to trial, but it's 29 euros if you want it. Take any further. The the, the uh, Touch OSC editor is free. Okay, uh, so let's launch Touch OSC editor. This little dialog window pops up. You want to click Allow Incoming Connections, and we're going to go to Open. Now it navigates to the .dot touch Touch OSC folder, depending on the layout that you downloaded, um, and click Open. There you have it, it appears on your screen. You want to hit the sync key. And we'll return to that in a minute. A little dialog um, loads up. I'm just going to open Oscillator now as well. Let's move that over here. Um, and I'm going to go File, Open. I'm going to open the um, Oscillator. I put, this, this is the uh, folder I saved earlier and highlighted there it's the oscillator file so we open that up and there we go now time for the app itself download the touch osc app uh, from the itunes app store it costs 2.99 here it comes there you go launch it the first thing we need to do is uh, set up our network this means that it connects your computer to the device. So if you've got Oscillator open, you should see this host already. It found it's found a host. And we should be able to get back to touch OSC. And you see the network is now set. Um, now we need to go and get the layout. Uh, these are some layouts that come with the app already. Click add. And there's my Mac. And now you see the control tractor in the list, so you select that. Uh, it's worth staying connected. Um, and I'll keep a double tap lock on as well. Okay. A double tap lock just means that you have to hit this I twice to get back into the preferences. Um, otherwise, you know, you could uh, hit it by mistake when you don't want to. So that's then ready to go. But if we turn back to the screen, we can stop sync on Touch OSC and quit Touch OSC. Now it's time to launch Tractor. Okay, now we need to import the .tsi file. This is the file that contains all your MIDI functions. So I click on Preferences and I scroll down to the Control Manager and I'm going to go Add Import. And I'm going to scroll to the folder I downloaded earlier. It's on my documents. Touch control docs. And here highlighted is the touch OSC file. So I can click open. I can close the preferences. And now I should be ready to go. First thing you see is probably that the 
faders won't work because they're set for soft takeover. That means until the fader latches onto the top of the fader and then grabs it and comes down again, um, yeah, then you see they're working perfectly. Um, that's just to stop controls jumping around if you've made a change setting on the screen um, and you've got something different set on your device. So you're ready to start mixing. Next time you come to do this, you don't have to go through all that palaver. Your device will already remember um, the network and you don't need to launch the OSC editor. You just need to launch Oscillator and go to File, Recent, and your most recent. Thanks for your time. Um, have lots of fun. And there are more templates to download for the iPod uh, Touch, the iPhone, and now uh, also the iPad as well uh, to control Tractor. There's loads of features you can and things you can do with that. That's all at touch-control.com. I'm Noel. Thanks for listening.